Mm. And she has to be safe enough to get soft enough mm -hmm. to penetrate. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so safe enough, so she's soft enough. To, to penetrate. penetrate. That's good. That's okay. good. You better build so a pyramid of love. <laughs> <laughs> I need a pyramid scheme. Safe again. enough. And be soft enough. No. <laughs> yeah, come on. Come on. You're right. You're right. Safe, Safe enough, enough to, to be soft enough, enough to, to penetrate. penetrate. <laughs> okay, boo. <laughs> Hi, welcome to the couch. Welcome back to the couch. We are here today to talk about something that's slightly touchy, but we're going to dive into it first. Before we get started, everybody say hey, Nadia. Hey, Jess, Chrissy. Hello. Yeah, we here, we here. We's back. And we're going to talk about. Um, spirituality, and sex, and why they both go hand in hand. Um, spiritual intimacy is something that's not normally talked about or even discussed or elaborated on. So this episode is going to be about that. We're going to talk about what the difference is between sex and intimacy and how spirituality has led us to fear sex, which stops us from being intimate altogether. We just gonna talk about it all. Y'all ready? Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> ready? Okay, so the first question, um, if, take out your books and write this down. So you, if you can't answer it right now, you can answer it as you as the show goes on, and you can think about it even after the show. Okay, cool. Um, what are your fears around sex? Wow. What are your fears around sex? <laughs> so that's the first question and the second one we're gonna write down is has religion affected your view of sex if so how mm. everybody writing it down let me know when y'all finny I'm done teacher <laughs> I'm done okay cool Same. so um, who wants to start who wants to answer the first one, what are your fears around sex? I don't think I have any fears around on, sex. <laughs> I mean, I, I, <laughs> I don't what does that you even know what mean? I'm <laughs> I mean, no. I'm experienced. <laughs> no, I'm no, that, that's just there's no fear of it at this point. Um, I did. Um, because growing up, I was molested as a child, so I used sex as a tool. So instead of like fearing it, I was like, oh no, 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 no. I, let me go ahead and use this. And I I it was a, a a way of controlling, it was a way of manipulating, it was a way of getting what I needed, get what I wanted to have some type of um I needed to feel more, I guess, more in control in my relationships. Um, so I learned to use it. And so it wasn't so much a fear, but now it's more so of an embrace and an appreciation of it more so now because it was just looked at as something physical, something that I could just check off. But now it's, you know, it's more intertwined. Like you said, it's, it, it's more spiritual now. It's more mental because if you ain't got me mentally, there's no way at this point that I could be turned on. And if I don't feel covered, um, even spiritually, then intimacy really can't be achieved in all avenues of uh, like the sexual circle, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, no, no fears, but it's more of an acceptance, like now. That means answer. Yes. Oh, Nadia. wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Your turn. My lord. Won't he will? <laughs> um, fears. I don't think I have any fear. I think that I fear that in my relationship, it may not be, we're both sexually com compatible. Mm -hmm. I, that would probably be my only fear that we don't match each other's energy. Okay. That's, 
great. <laughs> That's amazing uh-huh. that it's yeah. there. No, serious. So I, I don't think I ever want to experience that. I got you. Um, because that's that's something to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my fears around sex. Ooh, mm-hmm. I would say my dad's gonna be watching. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I mean, I have a child. <laughs> Oh, getting pregnant, man. I, I <laughs> <laughs> that fear hey, there, man. boy. I'm joking. I'm only joking. Um, that he was a blessing. Uh, my fears around sex, seriously. Uh, I would say it, it's all about it's it's all about the going to hell thing. I would say it's more of an internal like you are not supposed to be doing that before marriage. And I think that um, I wonder. Um, But I don't even really consider that a fear. Well, no, nah, it's a fear because I don't want to go to hell. I don't think anybody wants to go to a fiery place that's going to burn you forever. I don't think anybody wants to do that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Do, no, I'm saying fiery. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> so, you know, I think back in the day, that was my fear. And sometimes still today it still it still pops up. You know, it's not as much. <laughs> right. I was like, oh boy. Never you mind anything else you did. <laughs> oh I don't want to cut Because it is. This one thing. <laughs> one thing. <laughs> this can't sing. I just lied. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's probably that's probably the only fear that I can I can say is sometimes that thing be creeping up on you some days. You just be like, <laughs> you can go to hell. That, that, that position you just did <laughs> sent you straight to hell. That's gonna see you there. That one. That's the one. That's the one. That's that's the one. That's that's the one. You went so far. You went so far. Now you're going to be. So that's Don't. my fear. <laughs> Y'all, that's my fear. I don't want to go to fire and brimstone. Cool. And I'm not going to fire and brimstone for sex. I'm not. Go ahead, Jasmine. Okay. I would say. So that's the one. <laughs> to be honest, um, I would say maybe. relationally like in a relationship more so and I don't want to say it's a fear more so than that's something that I am figuring out the language if needed to be able to articulate if there isn't something that I'm getting how to say what I want without it being what you're doing is not right Ooh. I can't necessarily mm. say anything else because if there was a fear like that or anything, I'm not being able to express. Yeah, what I you don't need. carry any mm. other real fears because even when it comes to figuring like figuring out as I evolve, I find I like things, I find I love things, I find I don't necessarily like this, but I did it one time. Mm-hmm. So you know, as you be able, mm-hmm. as you continue to evolve as a person, like how do you tell somebody? If that is the case, you know. Mm, okay. I got a segue question. Okay, go ahead. So if you don't like, say you're in a relationship. Okay. And, and this person, and you love <clears throat> this person dearly. Right. How do you have a a loving but honest conversation about what you don't like? Because I think that a lot of times it's not welcome or, or out of fear and love, you might say, I don't you might deal it, be, have been dealing with bad sex from your partner for a hundred years. You know what I mean? And then- And it's true. You and can't it say it. Mm-hmm. And it's not that your partner never made it safe for you to say, you just, you just don't like, know how to I say it. I can't say this and, to him and tell him that mm-hmm. he's absolutely not pleasing me. So how do you say that to a person, especially a man, that you're not loving me right? How do you say that? There, think, there, yeah. are ton, there are a ton of ways. Um, yeah. 
to bring it up without even having to really bring it up. Right. You can start, I will say start by implementing things that you like um, in the bedroom or at dinner or wherever you feel like you need to start the intimacy where you need to, it to turn up a little bit. Um, like leading, because you at that point you'll be having to teach. Right. And, right. And maybe we should go there first, except that you'll be mm -hmm. teaching. Mm, that's number that's three. Good. No, but that's good, right. Though. No, that's you what I'm saying. But you have to accept. Yeah, but you have no. to accept the fact that hey, I'm gonna have to teach him what I like. Right. Yeah. And if you don't want to teach, it's probably not gonna work out. If you do want to teach, it will. Because I feel like men are more receptive to teaching, although we always feel scared to to make them feel bad about not doing something or not being able to. They might not even freaking. Yeah, that's what I say. Because maybe that's the thing in us <laughs> mm -hmm. more so than it is a thing with them. Because, and, and then, you know, they have a different, you know, sexually, it takes a woman about 45 minutes to get aroused, period, point blank, man. If you're out there listening, 45 listen. minutes. So if you feel like, dang, she's taking forever, it's not, she's just getting there. You take about, men take about five to 10 minutes not to even. get aroused. And sometimes y'all y'all wake <laughs> up that way. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's it's a thing of learning your partner and understanding when their body is saying yes, no. Like you got to tap in and not just go in. Mm -hmm. She has to be safe enough to get soft enough mm -hmm. to penetrate. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So safe enough. So she's soft enough. To, to penetrate. penetrate. That's good. That's okay. good. Okay. Better be able so to tear me this love. <laughs> Safe enough yeah. to be soft enough. No. <laughs> yeah, come on. Come on. You're right. You're right. Safe, Safe enough, enough to, to be soft enough, enough to, to penetrate. To penetrate. <laughs> the pinnacle. Yeah. The top. That's it. You're going to get to the pinnacle to penetrate. To penetrate. There you go. Oh my God. That's so, a word. Yeah. That's a word. That is. Oh, so, I think. Come on. That's a word. And that's so, what you're going to be sounding like. So that's safe, that's safe <laughs> enough. <laughs> that safety is the first step yeah. to intimacy. And in order for a woman to feel safe, you have to tap into who she is, not what she acquires. That comes into the love language. You know? Mm -hmm. um, digging a bit deeper. Okay, so... Is sex sinful or sacred? It's not a sin. So it's definitely sacred. It's definitely not a sin. <laughs> the act of sex is not a sin. It's definitely sacred, though, for okay. sure. Yeah. So I agree. <clears throat> sex agree. is not a sin. Sex is a blessing. It is a beautiful experience. My God. Use <laughs> responsibly. I mean, the I'm being honest. She <laughs> has to play. <laughs> play. Oh, yeah. oh, Lord. She has to play. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. This baby having flashbacks. <laughs> 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 Lord, oh I don't even know where I was. <laughs> See, uh, sacred. Sacred. Ooh. Yes, sex is not a sin. The act of it was created for us to enjoy, to connect. Um, on a spiritual level, though. Right. Mm. And I believe um, religion has, that was the second part, of, second part of the question. I think religion has um, tainted the view or, or tainted sex period of what it really is. Um, I think the sinful part, if we were to use the word sin, comes into play when we are reckless with the gift of sex. Right. <clears throat> um, <laughs> Meaning, how can I be reckless with sex? Just doing it. <laughs> Cause you can. Mm -hmm. What is what does that look like, Joy? Okay. Uh you went to the club, you got drunk, and you saw a boy, and you just said, Cool. I mean, he's single, I'm single, let's go. Let's That's single. That's not responsible because there's so many different things that could go on and could go wrong. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think, I think the church meant well by wanting us to not have irresponsible sex because it comes with a lot of consequences, pregnancy, disease, unwanted pregnancy, disease, 
Spiritual connection. Spiritual, spiritual strong connection. Holds, I mean, <laughs> like, like things that you will hold you or, and stay with you for a minute, right? So I think that part is a sin. And can I add sex. to that as well? As for how the church has, mm -hmm. or sorry, religion, you said religion. Religion, right? yeah. How religion has tainted also just saying don't do it then oh boy. falls into the complete ignorance for everyone involved. Probably the first oh, however many years of your life that you you don't even want to explore who you are, mm -hmm. let alone be able to know what you're doing with someone else. Mm -hmm. And just saying for a girl, <laughs> keep your skirt down, it's not it's not helpful because skirts crazy. Well hell you know. kept mine down. Well we know, friend, you know. Yes, it did until <laughs> until they couldn't no more. Ooh, I ain't seen nobody dropping dead, <laughs> <laughs> but everybody was getting head. Like, what, what about it? me, what? Lord? <laughs> what? what about you got to change. Change. <laughs> She has to. Oh, she has to. Absolutely has to. Man, everybody else was nobody dropping dead. dead. Everybody was getting <laughs> head. Oh, what? How? 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 Maybe. How? Mm. Sex is sacred. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a sacred act, and I think it should be held at a certain standard. Seriously. Um, this ain't, I'm, I won't say what the Bible says because I'm no preacher or a prophet. I'm none of those things. Um, but women, we are receivers. So we take everything, even when y'all are saying, oh, I'm just going over there. I'm just going to do something. Real. You're still taking on what you probably don't think you're taking on. And that will wear you down and you'll be depressed and not even know why. Because you're carrying somebody else's stuff that ain't, you know, that, that's, that ain't sure that you done picked up along the way. So I think people should be spiritually conscious when it comes to your body parts. Period. Just keep it pure, keep it clean. And make it a, make it make it worth it. You know what I'm saying? Meaning, make up, make somebody wait. You're worth that wait. You are somebody getting to know your inners. And not your inners. <clears throat> Correct. <laughs> you know? Ooh, this, this, you know, this I'm just saying, I'm just today, saying. If, if they want to get inner. Get inner. Get in. You know. Get anyway. Um, <clears throat> it's important. Spirituality is important when it comes to sex. Yeah. It's a difference. Okay. What's the wait time? And um, <laughs> what's the wait time to have sex with a partner? Oh, that's on you. Mm-hmm. I can't tell you when to give it up. <laughs> they won't say but, what I can, but what I can say before you give it up, know who you're giving it up to. And I recommend everybody, I don't care what age you are, get STD tests. In Atlanta, was number one. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're number one in everything. Yeah. I can't even give you a list. Everything. <laughs> Maybe I get the whole paper ran like I'm a, okay. I need fresh papers. Every, just do it. And if they don't want to, that's not. We got to move on. No, 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 okay. Um, your sacred little, your sacred temple. Act as such. Hmm. Beautiful. <laughs> um, what, where was I? What was the second part? You were about to read it. Yeah. yeah, you were. Oh. You, that was it. Okay. Um, intimacy. What's the difference between sex and intimacy, you guys? Sex is just mm. for the for the physical. people who think they're the same. Sex is physical. Sex is. I can <clears> have <throat> sex with someone down the street and it pleases me in that second and that's just what that is mm -hmm. intimacy is is somewhere that is safe so i have set up a space for you to be safe mentally which means you have stimulated me which means you know exactly what my love language is you've already entangled with me and saying oh god you you talk to me this way okay so now my mind is triggered spiritually it's like we already know that like you said it's a connection so when we dive into this moment sexually or when we dive into this moment physically, it, it's the pinnacle of, you know, the the manifestation of, hmm, I don't know if I can say something. Like, oh, this couch. We <laughs> 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 got real quick. But for example, um, I dated a, a person that was in ministry. And after he would come up from this high of preaching, I already knew physically where he was because you're already in that high you're already in that state of alignment with god or a state of alignment of, with uh spirit and he's receiving so he, he has this this almost like this high point of where he is and what is that parallel physically and 
that sex. So that exchange is very <laughs> grounding. It is. So it's I know where he is mentally. It's saying I have to come back. <laughs> that even goes and back into bishops and pastors why they keep going. Anyway, but I knew where he was mentally and spiritually. So to me, it was I, I'm covering you as not just um, your physical partner, but I know where you are spiritually. I know where you are mentally. So it's now a connection of uh, pouring and receiving of that same energy. It's 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 the connection that we have here on earth mm -hmm. that can be <clears throat> manifested almost um, heavenly, if, if that makes sense. I got you. You know, it makes sense to me. You better manifest heaven. You better yeah. manifest heaven. Heaven, is. heaven is right here on earth. Okay. Because it creates them. We're creating shoot, life from that moment. What mm. other moment can you create something like that? That to mm. create a whole being? Shoot. Mm. Mm. My God. Better deep. Dive deep. You're doing that. I can't dig it. Sex and intimacy. What's the difference for me? Um. It is like, ooh, I guess that when two spirits are like intertwined so much that it's not really much of a conversation that need to be had when they're together. Almost it's like spirit talk where y'all can sit there quietly and it's just like, you feel it. It's like in your bones or something. I don't know. It's, it's more of a feeling than I could put into words with intimacy. Sex, I mean, it's sex. You could do it in so many ways, <laughs> so many places. That part's easy. Um, but the leading up to sex is the hard part for most humans. And I want to I wanna help people with that. So if you need help with that, mm. let's go to my website. Mm. And Bless them. I can help you individually with your intimacy level with yourself by talking to you one-on-one -on -one about that. And I also help couples with sex therapy and intimacy therapy and dating therapy. Um, we do it all, I talk, we gonna talk about it all because I want everybody to feel loved in situations. And most of the time when we don't even know how to speak up about our intimacy or what intimacy or what we want from our partners, we tend to lack and keep it in silence. And then we literally just be dwelling down this hole of nothingness. <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> so, <laughs> not funny. Oh. <laughs> Silly. Sorry. So, I want to help people have better intimate lives. With, even if you're not having sex, <clears throat> intimacy is, goes way beyond that. Mm -hmm. um, it's flowers unannounced. It's a bubble bath that ran when you didn't really ask for it. Oh, God. Um, it's a foot rub or a whole full body massage and they allow you to go to sleep. You hear that? I mm. need to go to bed. <laughs> yeah, a full body massage and you let her go to bed. I go to bed. Mm -hmm. That type. That's like, or you know, just food. Because <laughs> <laughs> I love to eat. Um, and there are different ways. But yeah, hit me up on the website. Let's let's if you if you need help, Give especially couples. Because Lord, and we ain't gonna go there. Um, <clears throat> so, how is spiritual intimacy achieved? Mm. Do y'all know? I wrote a few things down. I, spiritual intimacy. I think that both people have to be in the same same level of vulnerability to achieve it. Like, I think your your mind and your body has to be so open that you you willing to go that that far. Mm -hmm. for intimacy. Um, well, tell us about a friend. Look, yes. <laughs> that he home was, was, it was personal. I just think that you have to be ready and open to... Go to, that deep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And to allow that person to, to get you to go that deep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And both of y'all have to be in that moment at the same time mm -hmm. for it to happen. For sure. And that be the part That's at the same time. Because like, I think that a lot of times it's not that. Mm -mm. One per party got to wait on the other party. Mm -hmm. Most times. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> mm. But then mm -hmm. what starts to happen is when that person is there, then the other person kind of draws back. And then the person, oh, no, wait, I'm there now. And it's like you're missing. You missed that I, moment. Right. You missed the bus. Jeez. Catch me next time. 
So how do you how do you mm. seek to obtain? I'll, those I'll say. I don't know. To start, if y'all to start the practice, I would say finding like intentional sacred time to focus in on what it is before you could just actually sit down and do it. Like say for instance, um, at two o'clock. From two to three o'clock, me and you are gonna sit on the floor, hold hands, and look at each other and not say a word. Mm. Maybe he might feed you some cherries, dip it in a little chocolate if she likes that. Or you could put the chocolate on something else that you like. <laughs> if you like that. It's none of if my you business like what that. you like chocolate on. Okay? <laughs> so I'm not saying what you can and cannot put chocolate good. on, but put chocolate on something <laughs> within that hour and enjoy yourself. Okay? In the intimate setting, sacred setting with your partner. Um, I think I think the practice of being intimate and just actually doing it helps. Action kills everything. Just doing it. Um, and y'all can call me. I got tips. I got ways to be intimate with your partner. Um, and that is how spiritual intimacy is achieved Practice, practice, put in the work. It ain't going to fall out the sky. Like you really got, and then y'all got to want it first though. Cause if y'all don't want it, nobody's going to be like, oh dang, we ain't doing it. And if you get with somebody who's experienced a spiritual experience during intimacy, oh, then they're going to crave it all the time. Cause that's another level. Trust me. <laughs> no, seriously, man. When y'all connect spiritually and y'all don't, don't even have to have sex. Open up a whole Them be the ones window. knocking outside the window, like. Mm -hmm. you but you had you coming outside. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Wait, you gonna call me back <laughs> ten minutes ago?" And I just couldn't wait. <laughs> and that's another thing: be spiritually responsible, y'all. Because there's some people out here who know what they holding, and y'all, some men know if I go there, if I go there, this one, this whole woman life gonna change. She ain't even gonna worry about her kids after this. <laughs> You need to stop. Why are you out here doing that? And it be that penitentiary. <laughs> Boy, have some girl on the corner. <laughs> what? <Wait. laughs> what shit? Baby, you're not going to get that. I don't want to be that good to where I'm in the bushes. Let me tell you. Y'all got to be responsible. You have to know. And women, too. She even said it earlier. She used, she used it as a tool. You got to know sometimes where you are spiritually yourself. If you that, if you that God and that goddess... Don't be just dropping it like that on people. You can't do it. Warn them. <laughs> Give them a heads up. And then when they warn you, <laughs> believe them. Believe them. <laughs> because <laughs> it's everybody is not. Everybody is not out here just talking. Uh-uh. It's getting personal. <laughs> everybody, who, 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 everybody is not. Everybody is just not out here talking. That's so true. real. Yes, there are people that are out here capping, as they say. Yes, yes. But everybody ain't got caps in their closet to give, baby. They yeah. tell you the truth. <clears throat> Believe them. Mm -hmm. and, and and figure out how to communicate those things, too. Because yeah, because you can't just say, I got that five. Because <laughs> I got that five. I, I got that five. So so it's real simple. Shut up, focus. <laughs> When you when you're aware, you'll you'll cover it like a prize. But there's that self awareness. You know, when you're aware, you'll cover it like a prize, <laughs> and you just won't spread that diamonds just everywhere. You just don't do that. And also, it's valuable. Thing, that's wasteful. You, you want to be um, if you're going forward, because there's a lot of things that you have to cut off from your partners um, that you probably didn't even know that um, you were there. Like she said. Um, people are pouring into you, you're pouring into them, and you're waking up depressed, you're waking up with financial issues or mental issues that ain't even yours physically. I'm like, why do I feel... Uh, man, spirit is And two, spirit I'm sorry, real. and women, stop having sex if y'all not having orgasms. Oh, why do people do I wanna, that? I want to, I want to, yes. Free. That hurts no. myself. Hurts myself. Be free. free. Don't sleep. Don't sleep. No, Be up. free. Wake up. That's all I'm gonna yell. Be free. Stop. If you're not having an orgasm, stop pretending like stop you are. So then, pretending. And we go. We all can help y'all. <laughs> hey, go to Joy website for real, because it's 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 real. Don't have sex if you're not having an orgasm. Yeah. And, and I've heard too many stories. And many too many times that you've seen on the on the you don't have to. It's not the same. No, you don't orgasm. have to fake it. Mm -mm. 
you your body is created to do that. So it's not you ain't broken. Don't listen to a man tell y'all done heard that before too. He said something was wrong with me. It ain't. Mm-hmm. No, we just gotta rewire some stuff and re and change your mindset and all of that. So that's a, like because when we, we just be giving stuff out. Not and, be, and, and not being pleased for years. Not not a week, years. We're going to stop that today. Life. We stopping that today. Because that messes up your spirit, man. You feel like there's something wrong with you. And that leads in other areas of your life. No, yeah, we got to no. fix that. So take a take a sex fast. If you're having sex and you're, you haven't had an orgasm ever, stop today. You start on your body. Once you <laughs> 1-800, stop, stop, stop today. 1-800, stop, stop it today. <laughs> 1-800. Okay. Please. That's what I want to. Okay. Um, what does lack of intimacy, not sex, but intimacy do to a person? It makes mm-hmm. you uninterested. Ooh. It makes you uninterested, unenthused. Mm. Um, um, because I think that a lack of intimacy makes a person eventually or over time feel inadequate. So mm-hmm. now that I feel inadequate, I don't want to give you nothing back in return because you're you're not giving me the intimacy that I need, the the safe space that I need, the the feeling of being needed, the feeling of being wanted. We're designed for human interaction. So mm-hmm. to lack intimacy is darn it the same as lacking human interact interaction. Mm-hmm. So I'm I, I'm good. I want to be in that space. And intimacy isn't necessarily just with a lover yes. or in a romantic. Yeah. A romantic space for those who um, are asking. And for people who are single, intimacy. Well, I wonder what... So for single people, what does it look like when you're alone? Intimacy with with yourself or... Journaling. Um, You might just dress up in the bathroom. Get cute. Put some makeup on. Mm -hmm. Take pictures of yourself in the bathroom just because. Walk through the house. um, Cleaning. Mm -hmm. Mopping to music like jazz. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Just... Having a moment to yourself, appreciating mm-hmm. yourself, loving on yourself, just it's because it true intimacy starts with yourself. Mm-hmm. So yeah, right. Yeah, it goes with once again dating yourself. Yeah. What do you like? I find that in the time. fitness. I will draw myself a bath, <laughs> candles on, make yourself a meal. Or if you want to go out, get dressed up. If your girls don't want to go out, which I'm sure they do, so. mm. we okay. always want to eat. <laughs> right? Have intimate moments with friends. Yeah, every moment. you know. Yeah, even with single, intimate moments with friends. And if you want to top the night, if you want to go okay. home, be intimate with yourself. <laughs> real intimate with yourself. It's Learn you. Real intimate. Learn because you. how how do you how can you tell somebody what you like if you don't know what if you, you like? Know yourself. Hmm. And then you can say you don't like things until you figure out with yourself that you do. Correct. I like that. <laughs> I'm like gonna write that, that down in my book. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what? Like listen, there's so many things. Um, now oh, to the people who uh are in in church, um, you're you're probably watching. <laughs> I'm sure of it. <laughs> and I want to say, um. Church has really made it, you know, really bad when it comes to sex and what it what it is and what it looks like and what it, you know, everything. You're a bad person if you have it. Not a bad person, but, you know, you're a sinful person if you have it outside of marriage. And for the people who are having sex outside of marriage, I just want you to know that the cloud of condemnation is real. OK, <laughs> shame is real. Um even in my own life, I definitely was pregnant and I hid my pregnancy. I've said that before. I hid it. I hid it because it was not accepted in a church. And he's only nine years old now. Um, and I want I want I kind of want to free people from that, too. If you get pregnant or you have a sex right now, there's a Bible verse. First John one nine. It just speaks about forgiveness. Go read it. Study to show thyself approved. Um <laughs> But it's forgiveness and God forgives us for everything. So if you're living like, dang, I done had sex last year and I shouldn't have. Be free. (laughs) Be free. Okay. You're good. You're perfect. Actually, just the way God made you because he doesn't look at it any other way, to be honest. Not you. You don't, you know, kind of 
like your child. You don't stop loving your baby because they messed up. And that's the way God loves us. And you still smell good to him, says the word. <laughs> okay. So I just want to free somebody from if, if y'all feeling down about it or dang, I'm nasty. I didn't know you're not. Don't let them tell you any other thing, anything different. Okay. Um, we have two questions. Let's hear it. People want advice. Go. Listen. Oh, and if you want some advice, you can go to my website, drop some questions, and I'll answer, we'll answer them on the show for you guys. And um, yeah, I can't wait to help. <laughs> I can't. So the first one is: I'm a Christian woman who loves the Lord. How can I stop having sex? Mm. Well, why would you want to? <laughs> The answer is the question is wait. What? I am a Christian woman who cannot stop having sex. Can y'all help me? No. She's a different question. Is that a different question? Absolutely. Wait, my mic. You're right. I must be. Absolutely not. We can't help you. Can we? I really think this is. I know you sent this to Joy website, but this is a Joy on the answer because baby, I can't help you on that. I'm gonna help her. What would be the I'm gonna help her. What's the reasoning behind it? She wants she to stop to, because she's a because Christian. She's she's she's, she's, she's but a, that's a woman. And Pat, I'm Pat. Right. You see what I'm saying? So I mean, they don't listen. I don't. Stop? I don't edit you guys' questions. She I just well, read them can aloud. You give us a little bit more detail. Well, I think a Christian woman that's kind of self-explanatory. Her morals and her rules are bound in Christianity. But, but, not but so, so so it's kind of like is. she didn't say I'm a Muslim woman. No, no, no. When you say you're a Christian woman, you want to stop having sex. Stop having sex with your partner. Stop having sex. Period. period. She's herself. Quite, yeah, yeah, I think I think it's sex. Period. Period. She doesn't want to indulge in it. She anymore. might be doing all things, Chris. <laughs> so Chris, whatever she's doing, she don't want to do. She no doesn't more. want to do no more. So she's saying, Joy, how can I stop this craving? Help with joy. I, I'm not sure. You can't <laughs> stop the craving. I have an answer. For I, yeah, because because listen, because oxit oxit. What you call this oxytocin? Uh, oxytocin. Yep, that thing that's she, released to reduce stress. She's not gonna stop craving it. She's not gonna stop craving it because it's just a chemical thing. She's not gonna stop it's, craving it's it, but she we can are. stop having it by put first stop putting yourself in a predicament to have sex if you don't want to do it. Oh my God, don't get in the bed with that man. Jesus. Don't even don't go to that man's house Jesus. at night. Jesus. Don't don't watch sexual content on TV with that man. Jesus. Don't have sexual conversations. Jesus. And you won't have now I can't I can't say what you so know. Woman of God. By yourself. <laughs> woman of God. Oh, yeah. But with that so other person, if you stop making it available, if we want to be biblically correct, it says with every temptation I provide you a way out. And I mean seven. So <laughs> seven ways. If you if you don't want to be in that, don't put yourself in a predicament to to even be so say for instance, say for, say for instance that one time, and you you don't say God, I ain't doing it no more. You don't you don't got me out this. I'm scot free. Nothing. I'm clear. <laughs> I'm good. My boy. I'm good. I'm good. Right. <laughs> and that one night, oh, <laughs> around three a.m. Not three. <laughs> and you up because you can't sleep. And that thing started right. <laughs> And you done been in church all night praising the Lord. <laughs> and that thing get the ring in. And he say, open the garage. <laughs> Not the garage. Open the, open the garage. Nadia, what you, what you gonna tell that girl to do? What you gonna tell that? Baby, no. <laughs> no, don't open that garage. The garage door open it should have been in the car anyway. So you can't, you got to get up out that bed and you got to go get that garage door open. By the time you get out the bed and go down the stairs, you done fat, you done pass six, seven options to get out, out of there. No, if you don't want to get that thing up, don't make lock it up. Lock it up and keep it locked up. Or better yet, when you see that phone ring at three o'clock, you already know it's first off. Put your phone on sleeve. Put your phone on sleeve. If you don't want to get the tail feathering. Then don't answer, and and that's it. On just that. block them and don't answer. Like, you said tail tethering, <laughs> <laughs> <Don't bother me. laughs> If you don't want to get that tail feathering, don't don't answer. Cause you know that's what it's called. Who? And you wanted it. Matter of fact, you manifested that moment. You did, cause you was like, if you he asked for it, please don't let him call. Uh huh. Please don't let him call. Please don't let him call. Because you wanted it. But then back here, big in the back here. Oh, but when he calls, I'm gonna answer. Cause if he calls, I ain't gonna do nothing but answer. You gonna answer. So, 
Walmart would leave your garage door opener in, in the, the garage. garage. In the car, okay? Oh. Number two, put your, put your phone on sleep mode <laughs> so you don't even get that alert, okay? And mm. go to bed on time. You shouldn't be up at 3 o'clock in the morning unless you're praying, talking to God, or writing down a business. Plan. Christian lady. Christian woman. <laughs> <laughs> you writing your certified woman? I do not. Y'all, we got one. We love y'all questions. Even if they're not in detail. <laughs> like I asked. <laughs> We're still going to read them. So this one is, <laughs> oh, Jesus. After having a baby, how can we get back in the groove of being a loving sexual couple? Oh. Mm. There y'all go. Well, yeah, there y'all go. Baby, you gotta, ooh, baby, you I think that might be for you to answer. You got to start to by yourself, honey. You got to start to Let me tell you, because after, after having a baby, mm. everything just seems to change. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy, everything doesn't look up like it used to. <laughs> Gravity takes. Oh boy, it does some things to your body, to your mind, and I'm just saying, and I'm and I'm a mom too. Everything did the same thing to me. Um, so it took it took me some time to even feel sexy again. So I say, take the time to um, reintroduce yourself to you. Even even I could be transparent on the couch. Me, were you with me at the doctor when she said you got to sure look I at was. yourself? Um, my doctor, after I had my son, I couldn't look at myself for a very mm. long, I think about six months, I didn't look at myself in the mirror at all, like in no type of way. Right. <clears throat> um, and at the doctor, I went for my checkup so that because I had to get stitched up or whatever. Um, and it took me about six months to heal because he did it. He did a job on me. Praise the Lord. Um, she put this big old mirror in front of the daggone she told me to sit up there like I normally do. And I'm just thinking, I'll wait. And she put that mirror up there. It's like, Joy, look at yourself. And I was like, I was like, I'm good. I don't want to look at it. And she was like, you're mature now. I was mm. like, yeah, girl, I was in there like, girl, what broke she? down. <laughs> What's she was blessing? Right. I she mean. was like, you have to look at it. You have to see how your body changes. So that's, that's my advice to women. Get in that mirror and just go, is it? I'm a mama now. It's tough. And it took me a minute to get back. So for you, it's going to take time for you to get back to you first. And most men aren't as patient in that time period. They, they're ready after six weeks, honestly. When a doctor says six weeks, men are automatically go, oh, yeah, I'm back up in that. And they want you to look <laughs> yep. physically how you look before you got pregnant. And some women don't even lose their stomach to after like two, three months. It stays for some women, some you know, people their kids twelve years old and they still they yeah. So them. you know, it just varies, and I think men be gentle and women be gentle with Thanks yourself because you just brought life into the world. You just held life on this side, death on this side, and you were standing in the middle pushing somebody out. That's amazing. So focus on that and you first, and then as you grow and and glow, you'll start to love everything else and. Try your best to still touch on your partner and still reach out and be some type of some type of affection to kind of keep it going. So he's not like, dang, she ain't feeling me no more either. Or, and I think that once you accept yourself, yeah. you'll they'll learn to accept you as well or mm -hmm. not. It's because it's a choice. But once <clears> they see you accepting yourself and not, so I'm, I don't feel because it's that's that's a feeling. Mm -hmm. A real feeling to look at yourself in the mirror after you gave birth and like really even me with a c-section i hate it i hate to look at it every time i look at it i hate it but i'm like well it's not going right. anywhere <laughs> so you're gonna look at it or you're not mm -hmm. yeah. uh, this moles that popped up the day i Mine. the day i had her 92.7 <laughs> moles <laughs> popped up not on my enough. neck I swear, well, you, and it, just, it, it created an insecurity for me hmm. because I'm just like I've never had these skin tags all over the place. It's out of control, but I me, mean, hey, you kiss me on the neck, you might put, get one of your mouth. Might get you one of your teeth. Oh my it's god, <laughs> not in your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully that helped y'all. <laughs> and I got we go we're gonna do one more. Um, to the to the lady with the baby, tap into yourself. And focus on you for for a little bit, but keep your partner close, especially if y'all live together. Or it's you know y'all are close like that. Don't leave them out of the process. 
evolve together. I'll say that. Um, the next one, how can I get intimacy in my back in my marriage? And how can I ask for it without hurting his feelings? We don't know because none of us ain't married, ma'am. We can help a married just, couple out. Just, Jesus oh. Christ. The way that she's... Lord. Like, y'all, we love y'all's questions. Keep sending them in. <laughs> on the website because it's up. Young cub. Hey, Chrissy. We, um, seriously, on a serious note, I would, I would first start with your partner. Start with your partner. Ask your partner what is it that you could do to make y'all marriage better. What can I work on? What can I change to make things better for you? And then give that person the same space and freedom to have to ask those same questions. In a good in a good relationship. In a good relationship. That you, man would respond in a loving way. Let's say she's dating a narcissist. Mm, mm. My God, today. <sighs> Let's oh, say she's dating a, a Negro who I, I put it on you all the time, girl. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he, he like. We, I ain't got no problems in that area. It's you. What what should she do? So only sexually? Intimate. So nine yeah, times out of ten. no intimacy at that point. Right. That's what there I'm saying. Never be. So how can you ask? <laughs> how how would she be back? able to? Mm-hmm. Well, he obviously just doesn't like, just, just doesn't have intimacy. You can't yeah. give him intimacy. Not no narcissist. You can't He's make what? him have it. Whether he was a narcissist or not, honey, you can't give that person intimacy. He has to want to give it. And has to be vulnerable enough to experience intimacy mm-hmm. with or without you. Because mm-hmm. if he can't do it by himself, he for sure can't do it with you. Correct. Right. Ain't going to so, get done. And, and when y'all together, all he is doing is being physical. He's mm-hmm. not being intimate with you. Mm-hmm. So you have to. It, or I still would bring it up to him. Have a conversation like, hey, babe, um, how is it for you in that moment? Is it an intimate thing for you? Or is it just something physical? And I'll, I'll base my moves and my responses off of that. But I don't think you could give back to somebody something you didn't take. That's good. Look at you. I'm just saying. Mm. Rolling and glowing. Mm. <laughs> <clears throat> <Here it is. laughs> I love you. Okay, I hope that helped you. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> no, no, no. I, for real, because I want everybody to experience intimacy. And um, if you if you find yourself not being able to speak up, that might be something to work on too. Um, <clears throat> which goes back to having sex and not being able to actually enjoy it, and not being able to tell whoever you're having sex with this don't feel good. Um, this part right here, this throat, just go on and open, just go on and open that up. <laughs> Unblock it. <clears throat> clear it out. <clears throat> and in this season, the motto is, it's all about me. <laughs> <laughs> oh it's, all, I, I, it's all about me. What I, what I want, what I desire, what I care about. And it doesn't exclude anybody else from enjoying that with me. <laughs> but <laughs> what I want is going to be first. And once I'm filled, everybody is going to be filling it. <laughs> And it goes the same for your life. Once you work on you and get you together, everybody connected to you is going to thrive because you ain't pouring from an empty cup, baby. Mm. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. So uh-huh. don't, let, don't let them, don't let people sip all your water. Ooh. Okay. Save some for your own self. Or you're mm. going to shrivel up. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Boy, save some for yourself. Been, <laughs> this, is, this, this has been a nugget treated day. Let me tell you. So that's what we'll say about um, sex and intimacy. And let's keep them separate because they're not the same. Women and men, just because you had sex with her does not mean that you tapped into this amazing box that unlocks all the keys to her life. No. She probably didn't even enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's go deeper. (laughs) Let's do some things. Okay. No, mm-hmm. she probably didn't even enjoy. Oh God, mm-hmm. she probably didn't. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. <clears throat> so we're women. We're gonna work on speaking up, and men. We're gonna work work on <laughs> listening, <laughs> listening and taking it in. You know, uh, in spirituality, let's not let the most important part of that go missing. The spirituality part of connecting with another human being. Let's keep that top. Let's let's get our spirits right. Because if you get your spirit right, you won't misuse the rest of this stuff. Intimacy, sex, whatever you like to do. 
You know what I'm saying? Um, it'll all come from a pure, genuine place. And if God is the center of that for you, and if not, cool. I love each and every one of you. Saints and ain'ts. <laughs> Love Saint all of y'all. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's gonna wrap it up for today. Thank y'all for joining the couch. If y'all have any questions, any remarks or anything, put them down below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks. <laughs> <Boo>. <laughs>